Hey guys, Florian here. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this jumping loading animation very easily using a little bit of CSS animation. So let's get started. So I'm going to create a new CodePen project. Okay, so now in this new project, first let's create the HTML structure. We're going to have a loading div. Uh, which will act as a wrapper around our circles. We'll have three circles which will bounce around. Okay, that's it for the HTML. And now for the CSS, first let's remove this annoying background color on the body with a darker one. I have a color here. Okay, it's much better. And now let's make the small circles appear. So circle will give it a width, 10 pixel and a height, 10 pixels. And we're going to make them white. And now there are squares, so let's make them circles by adding border radius 50%. Boom. And one more thing. We'll add a margin of two pixels to have a little bit of space around them. Or let's make it three pixels. Okay. And for the parent, the wrapper, we're going to make a display flex to have the circles next to each other. Great. Now let's center it in the middle of the screen. We're going to use display flex also on the body. Align item center and justify content center. Great, but we also need to increase the minimum height of the body to be 100 viewport heights. And now it's almost in the center. You just have to remove the margin of the body. Now it's exactly in the center. Perfect. Let's work on the animation. We're going to have an animation called jump, which will run for 0.5 seconds and it will have an is in animation type and it will be infinite. We run for infinite amount of times. And for the keyframes, jump will have three stages. So when it starts at 0%, we want the transform, translate y. Translate y to be 0 and then at 50% we want to have it translate y at minus 10 pixels. So now you can see that it jumps. But the issue is now that all the three circles are jumping at the same time so we have to add a little bit of delay so we're going to target the end of type 2 the second circle and also the third circle and we are going to have an animation delay of 0. 1 second for the first one and 0 0.2 for the second one. And here you have it. This is a nice loading animation you can use in a project when some you want to make a request to the server and you want to show the user that something is loading behind the scenes. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. See you next time. Bye.